As I continue to develop my video making skills, I realize that even though this is my favorite background, it's kind of a limitation when you come up to things that blend in. And this guy kind of blends in a little bit. I was looking around for something that I could put a backdrop on this table. And I found things that kind of mount behind the table and they kind of roll out or they're giant stands. And when I can't find anything that I'm really looking for, I make it. Here is my solution. Mounts on the table, doesn't damage anything. It's flexible, you can adjust it one way or the other. Want to put up a background with a sheet on it? There you go. Don't like the sheet or the cloth? Go with a wood background. Maybe you want a beaded board. Swapping this out just takes seconds. The flexibility on this design is pretty incredible. Maybe you want a wood background or foam core. This way, this way. Here's a black foam core. The potential for this design is only limited by your imagination. So let's go to a top down shot and I'll show you how to make this first version. Then <laughs> we're off to the races on expanding up to the sides and on all sorts of different angles. Here are all the parts that you need to make the backdrop. I've got a 52 inch long piece of wood. I think it's a one by three. It's more like a three quarter inch by two and a half. One side's finished and this side's rough. I kind of like the rough because it's going to give a little bit of friction underneath the table. But you could go with the smooth side if you want. I found the center of the board, which is in my case 26 inches on either side and I went eight inches out and marked where I'm gonna put these brackets. Two and a half inch double wide corner brackets. I got this at a big box store in the hardware section for around $5. Then you have a total of four paint stirrers, the big ones. I doubled them up and glued them and then I cut them off 16 inches. I've got a great saw here for cutting these up. 5 64th drill bit to pre-drill the holes for these half inch wood screws. And then some sort of clamps that are gonna be out of the frame, in this case, way on the edge of this 52 inch long piece of wood here. I use the center punch to just punch the hole, put the drill in. I want the bracket to be inside of the eight inches. That's the center of the board, eight inches on either side. I found that that's the perfect width for most backboards. And now that it's pre-drilled, screw them in by hand. Not gonna take that long. So that's one screw, I'll put them all in and show you the next. So I've marked and pre-drilled the vertical pieces and now that I have the brackets on the bottom here, I'm just gonna turn this over and start screwing these in. You can throw these away if you want, but I like to keep little pieces of wood. It's amazing what you can use them for. Finish up all these screws and then the fun part is putting it in place. The screws were just a little too long. We're poking out just a tad, so I just took a file and sanded those down to make it nice and flush. If you imagine that this piece right here represents the table's edge looking horizontal, you would mount this underneath the table, and then what kind of clamps you use is totally up to you. You could use this if you had a really big and thick table, but you could also use these more inexpensive plastic ones. And the great thing about this design is it's easy to put in place, take off. So I have another idea for a portable system. I'll post it up there when it's available. Depending on how big your backdrop is, you can flex and have a gap here to slide it in. And then you use the table to keep it in place through this gap here. This is just the beginning of this invisible backdrop. It really kind of lets things stand out. It's a quick change. Stay tuned for more upgrades on this basic design. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in designs on how to make your own photography equipment, sports equipment, making and breaking stuff, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.